Florida's legislature passed an election bill yesterday that includes restrictions on drop boxes and voting by mail. The bill focuses on drop boxes with limits on who can drop off voters' ballots there, a ban on moving drop boxes within 30 days of elections. It restricts where drop boxes can be placed and requires them to be monitored by election officials wherever they're open. Voters must request to vote by mail more regularly. Private funds cannot be used to pay election officials, and new powers have been added for partisan observers. The law also will give Governor Ron DeSantis the leeway to appoint replacements to fill certain local political positions vacated by people running for higher office. Governor DeSantis is expected to sign the bill. So, Eugene Daniels, uh, as we sift through the details of this, Republicans are defending it, saying it actually gives more access. But it's predicated on the idea, again, as was Georgia, that there is rampant fraud in our voting, which was proven again and again not to be true, most recently in 2020. No, 100 percent. And that's the issue with all of these bills, because this isn't the only one. Georgia obviously wasn't the only one. There's hundreds of these bills that have been introduced around the country, according to the Brennan Center for Justice, um, by Republicans. And you're ju the issue that is going to be, um, that is always going to come up, is that, like you said, it's predicated on this idea, this falsehood, that the 2020 election had massive voter fraud, which we know is not true. Um, the pre the, the then-President Trump's um, uh, intel community said as much at the time, and one was fired because because he said that. So I think that's the thing that they're going to keep saying. You know, there, this isn't a uh, solution looking for a problem, as as some people have put it, because Republicans are talking and have been wanting to look at voting, change the way people in this country are able to vote. And so 2020 provided exactly what they needed. And what you're going to continue to keep hearing is this idea about um, election security, because it sounds really good. Right? Who doesn't want a secure election? The problem was, and it will continue to be, is that we have always had um, secure elections. We haven't had massive voter fraud in this country, and Republicans aren't going to be able to divorce the two. The problem there, for, especially for Democrats or people who um, want to expand voting, is that it doesn't really matter, right? If they are running the state legislatures, if they have governor um, governorships, they're going to be able to pass these laws and sign them into legislation. And that's why you have, in Congress, Democrats wanting to pass H.R. 1, which is kind of like this, uh, this overhauling of democracy bill. But more importantly, the one that I think people haven't talked enough about, if you're thinking about this issue, is H.R. 4, which would add in some kind of specific language that was taken out of the Voting Rights Act. And that's the John Lewis um, Voting Rights Act, named after the civil rights icon who passed away. Um, and so I think that is the one that has less, I uh, guess, <laughs> um, less politics around it, right, is specifically about voting and the way that if you want to change voting, you have to um, provide the why before you do so. And I think people should watch out for H.R. 4. That conversation is going to be happening soon. It hasn't happened in the House or the Senate. Hey, thanks so much for watching our YouTube channel. You can follow up on today's top stories and breaking news or catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.